Hey guys, this is Chris from Silver Brick Reviews bringing you guys a review on the Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu J Stormfighter. This set has 242 pieces and it's set 9442. So, yeah, um, let's get right to the set. This set costs, da, 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 I can't remember, I believe it's 25 US dollars and 30 Canadian. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that, but I could be wrong. Um, anyways, so. Anyways, this set is almost discontinued, so I probably don't really have to give that fact, but, um, yeah. yeah. I could be wrong. It's a thought. It could actually be less than that. It might only be $19.99 US and $25 Canadian. I'm not sure. I actually got this on sale for $12 on clearance at Walmart, so, at US, so, I thought that was really cool, because this is a big set for 12 bucks, and definitely, I would have bought more of them, but I didn't, wasn't smart enough that first day that I went to Walmart and to buy more than one of them because it is a really big set and has a lot of pieces and it's pretty cool. So let's get right to the minifigures. So first of all, this includes the, uh, I believe it's the second sna staff, fourth staff. This one's for the, uh, oh crap, how come I can't remember any of the snake tribe names? Anyways, you get the red staff thing, snake staff. So go over there, start with that little thing. And what you see is what you get for that. And that's pretty much it. Now for the minifigures, we get Jay in his ZX armor. Except he doesn't actually have the armor on. He doesn't have the shoulder thing. So you get to see his back printing, and his torso printing, and his leg printing, and his face printing, and his ZX headpiece. So then next we get Snappa, who is kind of cool, interesting, I guess. He has a cool headpiece. Very cool, very textured and printed on. I like that. He actually has just like a red head, so it's kind of okay. And I love the way that his torso just goes right in with his legs printing and then back printing. So he's all around a really cool figure. I, I mean, I don't necessarily like his headpiece, kind of the design. It looks weird, but overall, they, like, they did a cool job trying to make a headpiece like that um, and actually make it look somewhat decent. So anyways, that's him. He comes with one of these weapons. Let's put Jay in his Stormfighter. So this set is pretty big, actually. I was kind of surprised. Um, I think it's how big a Lego fighter plane should be. So I'm actually pretty happy with it. Now, of course, this is like Ninjago, so it's like modern day city. Uh, <laughs> blacksmiths and swords. And then all of a sudden they have like planes. So, okay then. Anyways, so we get these two thing pieces on the side, which can be used as weapons for Jay. So, yeah. Anyways, we get two of these cool blades on the back. As you can see, the wings we get. Some of those gold round pieces, very cool. Stickers, stickers, sticker. Cockpit, no control panel, just one um, lever. It makes sense for flying a plane, of course. On the back, we get an engine, and we get a milk. We actually, I got two elastics, so I might actually supposed to be putting two on here, but it might have just been extra. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Anyways, we have the back fins of the plane, which have stickers on them. And now for the feature, we press down on this black thing which slides and poof I actually knocked the elastic off crap let me pick that up that's never happened before and I believe me I've done this feature many times because it's pretty cool just like this ultrasonic raiders feature and you get four of these awesome blade pieces the big blade pieces and it's too big for the camera to focus on so that's it. That's the awesome Stormfighter. So it kind of looks weird like that, but it's it's kind of a cool feature. I don't really know how that would be used. I don't think effectively that would work for speeding up or anything, or um, chopping up any people with the giant sword things, but um, maybe for slowing down or landing or something. I really don't know. So I'm going to fold it up back into the normal plane thing. Anyways, I think this would be a really cool set if you're a younger kid and you wanted to play with it kind of thing. I don't recommend it that much unless you want it for the staff or the or the uh, snake figure. You know, that's really the only reason I could see this. Or if you wanted the four ninja vehicles, you know, they kind of make you collect four of everything there. Uh, fun. Even though there's five snake tribes, you know, just whatever. Only four staffs. Um, <laughs> that's my problem with the final dragon battle is you don't get all four staffs. It's like, what the heck? Why? Anyways, so. Yeah. So anyways, that's my review of the set. I definitely recommend it if you can get it for 20 bucks or whatever, or try to find it on clearance or sale now. 
Otherwise, it's a pretty cool set. Definitely recommend, decently recommended if you're into Ninjago. Otherwise, you know, there's other cool stuff. So, see you guys later. Comment, subscribe, and bye.